Hey guys, my name's Spencer and this is Biotech Basics. And so my plan of this YouTube channel is to produce loads of videos where I'll be giving you all an insight into the field of biotechnology. So I'll talk about its applications and then also cover the industry as a whole. And then going on further from there, I may even surprise you with some of the things that I mentioned going on right now in biotech. And so now for this particular video on why biotechnology should be more important to you or at the very least why you should pay more attention to biotech and so there's many things I could talk about but I could just lecture you guys here for an hour so I'm just going to cover a few things in biotech and while watching this video I want you to be thinking of what challenges do we face in society and I believe biotechnology has the potential to answer many of these issues if not all of them and so when you look at things like climate change and overpopulation, biotech is coming up with ways to increase production of food and increase the harvest of crops to, to meet this demand and while at the same time reducing the environmental impact that these processes have. And then going on further and looking at things like medical biotechnology, you can see how there's so much interest in studying biotech drugs to treat diseases like cancer and many others where people may not have even survived 10 years ago and in addition to that it's also improving the quality of life that people get to enjoy after going through intensive treatments. So yeah, so in addition with all of this potential biotech has there's a lot of money, a lot of investment going into it and so as you see with a lot of big tech companies are starting to move towards investing in biotech and healthcare and so I'm gonna, I'll mention Google and Amazon later, but there's really many more companies that are doing a lot of stuff in this space. And then if you're one of those people who are thinking stuff like, oh, is AI going to take away all, all our jobs or something? Well, biotech is an area that is growing, growing, growing. So if you're concerned about jobs, you should definitely be looking and exploring biotech even further. So yeah, and then uh, in addition, so before I probably go in depth onto why um, biotech is important. I'm just going to give a little bit of background. So some of you guys may be thinking like, ah, oh, who's this guy? What qualifications does he even have to be talking about biotech? But uh, well, for me, um, I graduated last year with a degree in biomedical science and I'm about to start a master's in a few weeks in biotechnology and I've spent some time working with um, companies in the biotech space in the past year. And yeah, and I'll also include references in the video description down below. So if there's anything I mention and you want to explore it further, learn more about in de more detail, then I'll put the link below so you can follow it up for yourselves. So yeah. First of all, I want to talk about investment. So a study by KPMG showed that the pharma and biotech sector was second to only the software industry worldwide for venture capital funding in 2017. And so for those of you that don't know, venture capitalists are investors that invest money into small startup companies in return for a share in the business. And so they typically look for innovative companies with potential to grow, and some call this model high risk, but with a high reward. Biotech really is an attractive place for investors looking for the next big thing. And by the way, healthcare tech like medical devices are counted separately from biotech, and were less popular in terms of venture capital investment. When you consider the biosciences as a whole, which includes healthcare tech alongside biotech and many others, you'll see that venture capital investments in the US has risen from $8 billion in 2009 to $20 billion in 2017. And in recent years, biotech has had the largest piece of this biosciences funding pie. And however, it's not just the US that's interested in biotechnology. So the funding of UK life sciences companies reached a 10 year high in 2015. And this followed the boom, the biotech boom in the United States and in the rest of Europe and China and actually pretty much the rest of the world, there's been a rapid increase in the popularity of biotechnology. You might already know this, but Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft and one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, tweeted last year that if he was to start his career today, it would be in biotech, and this alone should be enough to convince you of the importance of this industry. Biotechnology also has an important role in helping us protect the environment, 
And so this is critical because there's still a vast amount of environmental challenges that we've not quite solved. And these things include things like climate change, pollution, water shortages, deforestation, overpopulation, and I can really go on with many more. And biotechnology has the potential to address all of these issues and even more. And I won't go over each and every one in this video, but I'll speak about a few. And so research from, uni from Oxford University and the University of Amsterdam showed meat cultured and grown in a laboratory could be produced with 96% fewer greenhouse gases, 45% less energy, 99% less land use and 96% less water when compared to the conventional meat production methods. And so with the issue of a growing population, the reduced environmental impact of cultured meat will become more significant as demand for food rises in the future. And so you won't find lab grown meat in the market though, however, but it's rumored to be available in restaurants in 2021 or even earlier. And so yeah, and then uh, people are also finding ways to convert food waste into biofuels that power cars and buses. And they're also using biotech to help with the manufacturing of goods that are less likely to make waste that will sit at landfill sites for hundreds of years. When we consider the involvement of politics in biotech, you can just see how valued it is. So in July earlier this year, the UK government declared its desire to put life sciences at the heart of the UK economy. And so the new health secretary, Matt Hancock, stated that the life sciences is incredibly important to the UK with hundreds of thousands of jobs and a 70 billion pound turnover. And just to be clear, the life sciences or biosciences refer to the study of living organisms and any applications that arise from it. And as I mentioned earlier on, Biotech receives the largest piece of a biosciences funding pie in the United States. This is also expected to be the case across the rest of the world. And therefore, biotech really is in the best position to benefit from the government's interest in the life sciences. The government also unveiled its Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund last year, which will invest in researchers and businesses that want to address the biggest industrial and societal challenges we face today. In fact, in the first year of the fund, £1 billion was committed to many challenges with £197 million committed to the creation of cutting-edge healthcare and medicine. And this investment had a focus on developing the exporting strengths of the UK biopharmaceutical sector, which is itself underpinned by biotechnology. As I mentioned lab-grown meat earlier, this fund has actually committed £90 million towards transforming food production. And you can just see from that that the government is after benefits similar to those that lab-grown meat appears to have. With the UK ranking as number one in Europe for biotech investment, it is likely that the government has mapped out a key role for biotech in the economy post-Brexit. Nonetheless, there are still concerns that have not yet been fully addressed. And this includes the ease of recruiting global talent and a loss of EU funding for research with EU-wide collaborations involving universities facing uncertainty. The last thing I'll use to just really emphasise the importance of biotech is that all the big tech companies are invested in both biotech and healthcare. And so if you haven't heard of 23andMe, their DNA tests give people health advice and an insight into their ancestry based on their genes. So Google's a major investor in this company that was co-founded by its current CEO, Anne Wojcicki, which I hope I kind of got the pronunciation right because I had to look that up. But her ex-husband is actually Sergey Brin, a co-founder of Google, and they've attracted the interest of big pharmaceutical companies, with GlaxoSmithKline announcing a $300 million collaboration with 23andMe two months ago and GSK plan to use the genetic insights provided by 23andMe to add value to their drug discovery programs for new medicines. Prenetics, a startup from Hong Kong, recently acquired the London-based DNA Fit, which is also a DNA testing company. Prenetics themselves have received major investment from Alibaba, a company said to be the Chinese equivalent of Amazon and is also known as Amazon's major rival in the battle to dominate e-commerce across the whole globe. Now that I've just mentioned Amazon, 
They actually announced a collaboration earlier this year with Berkshire Hathaway and JP Morgan to lower healthcare costs for their employees in the US. And when this deal was announced in January, the share price of biotech companies actually fell. And as is usually the case with Amazon stepping into a new industry, it made stock market investors in biotech companies uneasy at the time. Not much has been revealed about the deal though since it was announced. Samsung revealed at the beginning of August that they'll invest 25 trillion Korean won in AI, 5G, automotive electronics and biopharmaceuticals in the next three years. And this is equal to roughly 17 billion pounds. And the mention of biopharmaceuticals is obviously the part that relates to the biotech industry. And then you might be surprised to see that they actually failed to mention smartphones here, yet state an interest in biotech. And unlike with smartphones, Samsung has identified biotech as an area with potential for plenty of growth in the coming years, alongside the hype of AI and 5G. So, so now that I've covered a few bases on the importance of biotech, I hope you can now see why, at the very least, you should pay a little bit more attention to biotech. And so if there's any other reasons you can think of that shows biotech's important for society, feel free to comment below or if there's anything that you felt that I would have mentioned today, also let us know. And going on further, if you have any feedback, whether it's positive or negative, even if it's about the most random things on this video, please just let me know if it's the first one, so I want to be able to learn from this. And uh, also, going on further, if I'll, be, I'll hope to be making loads more videos where I'll talk about things in biotech that may even surprise or excite your imagination. So if you're looking forward to that and also more importantly if I manage to convince you of the importance of biotech then you should definitely subscribe and also enable notifications so you can get reminded when the next video comes out. So yeah, until next time this is Biotech Basics.